Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. VKB recently reached out to me and offered to sponsor a second video as part of a growing library of controller reviews. Without their support, I wouldn't be able to bring you these reviews, so thanks goes to them. Let's begin. VKB is a leader on a very short list of the best controllers in the world. As we've seen from the MCG Pro and Gunfighter 2, the tech, engineering, and build quality are apparent. I've recently reviewed the MFG Crosswind Paddles, and today we're going to take a look at a product with a completely unique approach. Welcome to my overview, review and impressions of the VKB T-Rudder Mark IV pedal set. There are a couple ways you can approach pedals. Great value proposition, ultra realistic, adjustable ergonomic options, ultra durable, high fidelity, smooth operation, and comfort even after hours of use. The more these factors that a pedal set can offer at once, the better your overall experience will be. The unit shipped to me as a box within a box, fully supported and immobilized in foam. As the unit's 100% metal, I doubt it could ever become damaged in shipping. Unboxing was a premium experience. The T-Rudder is the most minimalist design I've ever seen. It has a nice solid mass and everything feels very good. There's an elegance in its simplicity and the initial setup was very straightforward. Install two linkages by placing the ball from the high bearing over the bolt and then installing the nut with an 8mm wrench. I was fully happy with the default configuration, but you can adjust the height by adjusting the links. You also have the choice of a firmer spring force, plus you can modify the cam profile. I have the PDF linked in the description. Like other VKB products, the pedals are connected through VKB's black box. The black box is a common hub where all the electronics reside. This keeps the device footprint small, it makes it easier to problem solve issues, it makes it easier to repair malfunctioning gear, and it lets you expand while keeping a single USB connection. It can operate standalone, but if you already have VKB gear, the pedals can link up to your pre-existing hub. Once they're plugged in, perform an update, then a simple calibration and you're set. Here are my impressions and observations. The internal sensor, like other VKB products, are frictionless magnetic with a wide range and ultra-fine stepping. It feels like there's infinite points of resolution as even the slightest pressure is detectable in games. Having a good sensor wouldn't matter if the frame had flex. The T-Rudder has no flex. I know that whatever minor inputs I make, it'll translate directly into the game. So, is it a good value compared to other options and is it right for you? If you value a simple small form factor that sits on the floor and don't mind paying a premium price for good quality, then this is perfect for you. If you have other or plan to get more VKB hardware in the future, the T-Rudder is even more desirable because it integrates into the ecosystem. Its simple design comes at a cost. This product offers no additional access in the form of tow brakes, which may not be an issue for you, but I know that some might find it a deal breaker. They're right at home on a flat surface like a floor, but they lack mounting options, preventing me from using them on a MonsterTech MTX sim rig. I found the motion of the pedals works very well and they're comfortable even without shoes. It took me only a couple of minutes to become accustomed to them. The T-Rudder is a bit on the upper side for price, but they're great and I have no doubt they'll last for a lifetime. The product is solid and if it looks like what you need, look no further. Thank you very much for spending your time with me and thanks to VKB for sponsoring this video for us. Please check out the growing list of product reviews, fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.